Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're gonna do something special. We're gonna do a heads to heads with Dune from the Fool Society versus the Dune Deluxe Edition from Ace Books published in 2019. I'm gonna compare the binding, the paper, the yeah, all of that good stuff. I'm gonna tell my opinions of which book I I prefer. Uh, but let's get started. And we can start off with the dust jacket, which is actually the best part of this edition. The quality and design is quite good. It's attractive, colorful, and made to look good on the shelf. However, it will still be prone to damage, and you can see that the top and bottom of the dust jacket is starting to separate. And that's how it was from outside the box. Perhaps it was damaged from shipping, but that's just how it goes for dust jackets. Having a slipcase is, of course, a much better protection compared to dust jackets. The binding for this book is paper blocked with a quote on the front, a circle on the back, and the title, author and publisher on the spine in gold. This type of paperboard binding is not very durable. It easily bends on the top and bottom of the spine, as can be seen here. It also has a sheep feel and look to it. And the Fuller Society edition, with its metallic cloth, can't even compare in terms of durability, look and feel. The book is bound in a glued perfect binding, which means that the pages are individually glued into place, not sewn. This means if the glue cracks, or after years of sitting on the shelf, or after one or several read-throughs, there's risk of pages falling off, making it a fairly bad long-term purchase for Dune lovers. You can also see the state of the book that it arrived in, with a page nearly falling off, after not even reading a single page yet. The paper in this edition appears to be acid-free, however there's nothing on the copyright page that confirms this, I just went with the smelling the paper and looking at it. Having acid-free paper is obviously a good thing, since it will not turn yellow after some years, at least not as quickly, depending on the paper. But this wool paper still feels lower quality, but it's definitely not the worst part of this edition. In my opinion, this is an edition that is made to look good on the shelf and to capitalize on the Dune movie that came out. It's not a reader's edition, nor an edition for those who want something deluxe or of decent quality. They market this book as a deluxe edition to trick people into believing that badly colored page edges, illustrated end papers and a fancy dust jacket are deluxe. For about a third of the price of Dune from the Fooly Society, I can't tell anyone to buy this book. If you love Dune and want an edition that will last for a full lifetime, definitely invest in the Fully Society edition, and here's why. This Fully Society edition of Dune comes in a thick and durable slipcase. It's bound in blocked metallic cloth, a very sturdy material resembling buckram. The book is bound in a smooth sewn binding that opens up perfectly well. It has printed end papers with a map illustrations by Sam Weber on textured photographic paper. The paper used for this edition is Abbey Wove paper, a fairly thick cream-colored paper that is made for decades of shelf time. It's acid-free, pH neutral, so it will keep its color. This edition is printed and bound in Germany. This is the best non-limited edition of Dune available in my opinion, and any other edition from the mainstream mass-producing publishers will be a massive downgrade compared to this one. This is an edition made for readers and made to last for a lifetime and beyond. Thanks for watching.